believe I have everything somewhat kind of mocked up where it needs to be. For now, I've just got spacers spacing the diff further away. I had to notch this quite a bit. So if I have to reduce the spacer size, I can always just drop this whole thing. The other part of the driveline angle is also gonna be this. Once I get the correct uh, spacers for the inside of the bushings, I can tighten that down for good and that'll set my base cross member height. And then from there, I'll adjust the differential up or down. I guess we're gonna move on to mounting a control arm and see how that looks. I wanted to get a preliminary idea of how this thing mounted up and it looks good so far. There aren't going to be any retainer tabs for the brake lines. I don't know if there would be a way to implement it onto this control arm design unless it was like just a piece of sheet metal, you know, at an angle. Other than that, it, you know, it does have the uh, mount for the parking brake cables. Basically the way everything's going to be adjusted is if you need to adjust camber, since these are floating heim joints, these bolts should not really be under tension like very, I mean, maybe under a slight amount of tension, but there's so much wiggle room, you know, this way, that way, that you should be able to slide the bolts out during an alignment to offset them. So like, if you need to add positive camber, this side needs to be high, this side needs to be low. Since this car is so low, I just have it kind of maxed at the adjustment right now. And then for tow, you know, as you tighten this, that goes in and out, and you also have another point of adjustment here as well. So it looks pretty promising so far. And there's just, man, there's so much more room in here. What we're gonna do now, I've got new bearings. I need to take my stub axles out and swap them over to the new control arm. And then we'll uh, mock up the Techno Toy brake system and see how that looks. And uh, we'll report back shortly. I started to install the Techno Toy big brake kit for the rear. Something got screwed up. Either they gave me the wrong rotors or the wrong bracket or something because it's uh, the rotor hits. I guess for now we'll move on to the other control arm and just kind of piecing the rest of it together as much of it as we can. Come back to it later.
Alrighty, we got both sides installed. I think well, I'm just for tonight, I'm just gonna put the factory brakes back on until Techno Toy gets me straightened out on the proper brackets and everything. That way I guess I can kind of highlight how the uh, factory brake system fits with it. I know right off the bat, I talked about earlier, there's no retention bracket for this. However, there is one for up top, which is nice. Yeah, you know, I just wish there was an additional one down below, but you know, we can always work that out later. One thing we did notice is that these bolt holes are all off. I'm not sure how that happened, but for the Techno Toy brakes, you know, normally you use your two caliper bolts and then you use a couple of the dust shield bolt. I mean, these aren't really going to be load bearing. They're just kind of more of a stabilizer, I guess. They're only like six foot pounds. However, the way I see it, Techno Toy put it there for a reason. This lines up perfectly with my factory control arm, but it doesn't line up on the Apex control arm. So I've already brought that up to Ohm. I may even send him my old control arm to use for 3D scanning and everything just to kind of every little bit of information helped. Aside from most of the hardware missing and having to make some modifications, I'm actually really excited so far, really impressed with this. So we're just going to continue on. I guess what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the brakes and get this whole back end wrapped up. <laughs> screwed up it's uh about nine o'clock in the evening i thought that maybe techno toy sent me the wrong hardware brackets or rotor or something but you know just i don't know i kept kind of just testing things and i didn't really want to accept that as an answer well i went to install the stock brakes and they still hit just like the techno toy tuning stuff hits then i started making some measurements you know there's a little uh step here where the uh, caliper bracket comes back from this piece here you know i went and measured this to make sure it was the same and then i got to thinking there's a sleeve on the inside of the bearings that i forgot to swap out like an idiot so even though i'm a professional I've been doing this well over 15 years now i still make mistakes so that being said, I get to take all of this back apart to fix my screw up and then hopefully the Techno Toy stuff will fit from there. So yeah, um, not super thrilled that I get to go two steps forward, one step back, but you know, it's part of life. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, whether you've been doing it a year, 20 years, 30 years, everybody makes mistakes, myself included. So, well, I guess on to fixing it. So what was going on is you can see there's a little gap between there's a little race or a spacer underneath this bearing this bearing actually needs to be further forward and you achieve that by installing the spacer which brings this hub slightly further out away from the end of the control arm so yeah dumb ass me not paying attention uh you know trying to make time and get my car done and just got overlooked so I'm going to walk over to the press and press this on the rest of the way and we'll reassemble it. it was just me but nope there is definitely an issue somewhere whether it's the backspacing for the wheel bearing or this bracket itself is not welded in the right place i tried both the techno toy tuning kit which rubs and i also tried the factory bracket 
You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That's where the factory, flip this around. Yeah, see, there's just no room. Either this thing is welded in the wrong spot, the wheel bearing is in the wrong spot, and the backspacing, I'm not sure. I don't think it's a bearing backspacing. That actually looks pretty good. I really think this thing was welded in the wrong spot. So, uh, I guess we're gonna be reaching out to home, let them know what we found. All right, we're down to the bottom of what happened here. I just got done talking to Ohm over at Apex. This was welded in the wrong spot. I've noticed there's a step here built into this whole sleeve when they machine it, so either the step is in the wrong spot. Well, let me rephrase that. This step was machined in the wrong spot, which led them to believe that's where it needs to be welded. But this thing is roughly plus or minus, I'd say it's a quarter inch off, plus or minus a couple thousands. I, what I did is I bolted all of my stock brakes to the factory control arm and we get a little bit more distance. So I measured from the leading edge of the hub to the leading edge of this uh, mounting surface here. There's about an extra quarter of an inch distance. There's nothing wrong fitment wise with the Techno Toy stuff other than they just forgot to send me the stainless steel brake hoses. That all fits properly. My factory brakes fit properly. It's all related to the Apex arm. Again, this is part of the development process is, uh, you know, you're not always gonna get it right on the first try and that's okay. That's part of parts development, which is why it's taken so long for small businesses like us and Apex to come to market and develop parts because generally speaking, people want perfection right out of the box, which is fine. I mean, that's what we strive for. Again, I'll continue to reiterate, I knew full and well going in, this was gonna be a quote unquote development project. This was not gonna be 100% bolt in right out of the box. That's okay, that's what I signed up for. That was the agreement we had. My job was to do is test fit everything, send him data to improve the product. By the time you guys are buying it, it will be 100% bolt in. You know, I already talked to him about the bearing surface in here, the machining is perfect in here, it's a little tight. What I told him is either it's, it's not so tight that you can't press a bearing in, but what happens is when you start to press the bearing, if it walks, it gouges the inner diameter of this. Where like this piece on the factory control arm is hardened from the factory and this piece was not hardened. So either he needs to just add just maybe a half a thousandth of clearance on the inside or send them off to get hardened so that they don't gouge if the bearing gets crooked. We did talk about an additional mounting bracket here for the brake line, which I'm actually getting ready to go test fit. I'm gonna mount up one of these hard lines and try to determine where a good spot would be for an additional mounting bracket for the brake hoses. And then pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this thing partially assembled enough to where I can move it under its own power. I'm gonna leave these attached to the brake hoses for now. So that way I can still use the brakes. They'll just only have front brakes. I'll go ahead and pull off my parking brake stuff because I'm switching to the Techno Toy stuff anyways. Yeah, we're gonna put this rear project on pause until I can get an idea of how long it's gonna take to get revised parts here. I'm hoping relatively soon, but as soon as we get the revised parts, I will basically start over and update you guys with the changes that we made and how much better it's gonna fit. We're finally getting back around to messing with the uh, Apex rear suspension install. Finally got the revised parts in, the readjusted rear control arms and the suspension cross member. I'll go take a look and see what we got here. 